Okay, as you can see with the current setup, it's a pretty decent setup for my, uh, well, the alligator lizard I have. I have some pothos plants here, a few leaves are dying, the olivera, which is not really adapting really well to the whole situation. Um, he does have this water dish with a bunch of dead crickets and dying crickets. Started off with just him and this, uh, this uh, little log right there. Oops. Right there. So, huh, he shed. So he's growing. He definitely likes this little birdhouse I got from Walmart. He could go into it in the sides and the front. And he likes the foliage in there, so he likes to really hang out. So I'm just going to redesign it a little bit. The potho plants, they say they're hard to kill until they meet me. As you can see, some are dying. So, yeah. What happened here, and the reason why it's so wet, my kid drenched it. And alligator lizards don't, they don't really like wet substrate. You know, I mean, not as wet as she got it, so. So as you can see, the tank is well broken down from everything. There is some mold from dead crickets and anything else that's in there, like his, uh, his feces or poop. He was really cool, stayed right on that house. And as I said, there was some mold on here, so I'm soaking the wood in uh, one part water, one part vinegar to help kill the spores there. Mostly in the bottom right there. Um, so I'm just going to let it soak for a little bit, rotate and soak it in just regular tap water. The uh, Unfortunately, the olive air didn't make it. It started falling apart. But the pothos, uh, aside from that one part, pretty decent. Still rugged. And I'm just going to just replant. If I need some more, I do have some plastic fake stuff from Michaels. Or I could use a plant right there. Like, what about a video featuring me? What about me? Passion. Don't worry, girl. You'll get your due. And somebody here wants to come out again, obviously. Sugar, you've been out all day. Today, yesterday, and Friday, and every day in between. I swear I could read this snake's mind. I am going to stare at your soul until you give me attention. I'm going to stare at you until you take me out. Okay, after a good drying, you can see all that mold, which is right there, is pretty much done. Uh, one of the little how, uh, planks for the thing fell off, but as you can see, all the mold's gone. Here's the guy's shed. Pretty good. Good size, shows I'm doing something right. The house is not exactly the same placement as he wants it, or it once was, but I think the foliage there will cover it pretty nicely. This is kind of uh, uh, like a little hideaway on both sides. There's a crevice inside there. And then I put the rocks, and there he is. Looking like you're happy, right? <laughs> Not much has changed, just trying to clean it up, get the mold out. The other piece of wood is still drying. I, uh, probably hold it. I, want, I kind of want to see how that mold, if it's going to come back. So as you can see, my snake likes to run his errands with me. Uh, here in California, it's not snowing, but it is still somewhat cold out there. So she wanted to, well, go out, throw out the trash with me. <laughs> so I just put a, uh, kids are laughing there. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, uh, just put on a jacket. Next thing you know, his her head's peeping out. So yeah, you gotta like that with her. Is Sugar hiding in the jacket, hanging out? I know from sometimes Sugar wants to run errands with me, with Daddy, with Mommy, but she might get lost, and Daddy can't control her. She, she and she will not thrive. She will not eat no more things, and we will never uh, be able to control her and uh, get her head. So that that means she's gonna die, and we're gonna miss her a lot. Thank you.